Hello folks and welcome back to exciting crap like I have to put down my luggage. Alright. And my luggage just looks like a good place. That little table could come in handy. Yeah, you never know that. Alright, let's put our luggage on here. Maybe. Oh, sexy. Alright. So let's see. What do we got in our luggage? We have Michael Arthright, Vanishing Town. Although it looks like a vanishing dude more than a town. Let's look at the back. Alright, the number one bestseller. Ooh, I must have written none of this. Okay, the most breathtaking page turner of the year, quoted by no one. A passing traveller comes across the small town of Fetch Rock, set in Comwell, England, only to find that it's completely deserted. Devoid of any signs of life, houses, shops, town hall, church. No human being to be seen. The traveller informs the authorities of a nearby town of this fantastic event. The next day, an officer, accompanied by two policemen, visits Fetch Rock, except everything's back to normal. Oh my god. Ten years later, John Parker, a journalist, reluctantly accepts the assignment to investigate these strange events, as they have now grown into a persistent local legend. Could it have been a practical joke by the anonymous traveller? Or did something truly strange take place in the vanishing town? Things become more mysterious when Parker leaves in uh, leaves no inhabitant to fetch uh, rock. What of us seems to be a lousy job for Parker eventually turns to a nightmare as Fetch Rock is now in a town but home of deadly secrets and lurking evil. Really? Um, let's see. In this outstanding debut, Michael Arthur has concocted a wonderfully twisted tale bound to keep you guessing to the last page. Psychotic Dreams magazine. Alright. If H.P. Lovecraft was alive and suddenly decided to write his take on the Wicker Man, the result would be this book. Deep, engaging, uh, really. Um, wow. Uh, Michael Arthite is a newcomer writer to the genre, born in Providence, Rhode Island, and settled later in London, England. His first novel is proof that he takes no prisoners when the goal is to scare people with a fresh and compelling with Writing style, Michael has published several short stories and mystery horror mags. Okay, whatever. I really don't really want to read it myself, but anyway. What's this? London 02077 73764. Jerry. That's our sexy friend, the man who called. To Michael Arthite from. I don't know. Alright, October 7th, 1976. There are so many reading in here. It's fucking buck. Michael, it took me months, but at least I think I managed, okay, well, I mean, think, so to speak, as there are only a very few details left, but I can confirm with certainty that the house is yours. I owe you an apology, because I didn't think it'd take me that much time. I tell you, I'd have never thought that finding a Victorian house, and no more and no less, than in Rothberg would have been so hard. The majority of the old houses in this region are either impossible to live in or they belong to the aristocracy. I can't say that. As it, as it, that wasn't enough. As if that wasn't enough. You and your bloody whims. Was it really that necessary being so cut off from town? Why are all this sudden need for solitude? Well, as long as you don't become one of those typical hermit writers. Well, you know, I can't promise anything, Jerry. I think this is Jerry. Anyway, this beauty will take your breath away. It belonged to a wealthy family that always took great care of it. Around the mid-sixties, it became the property of one person, I believe, a friend of this family. He lived there for about five years or so and then abandoned it. Yes, the red right abandoned it. As far as I know, this lunatic, a removed, a renowned doctor, spent his last days getting drunk in lousy bars before vanishing from the face of the earth. Why someone would do that is beyond me. Um, the house then became the property of the National Trust, and surprisingly enough, no one ever did anything about it. That is until I rescued it for, from oblivion, of course. It took me a lot of work, so I hope you can like it, whatever. The price is just as we discussed earlier. I know it's hard to believe, but the price of the interior was never agreed. Um, upon. So whatever you find inside, be 
it furniture or long lost remember it's yours just remember our deal if you find a thing of great value you have to share it now I don't bother now I won't bother you if your sofa what collection happens to be valued in the thousands but it but if you bump into a hidden cache of cache of money and you can never really know then I want a piece of it. Wait a second, if you happen to sell any important items you find inside the house, such as your sofa collection, I have to get a part two. Business is business, my friend. Jesus. There's way too- Oh my god, there's more. <sighs> By the way, I sent two people over yesterday to clean it from top to bottom six years without inhabitants. Must have left a nice coat of dust, don't you think? They couldn't do wonders, though. And you are going to need weeks to fully clean that place. Oh, they told me the house seems to have a rat problem. But you can't have it all. Should you need anything to have to give me a call? Oh, my God. Okay. <clears throat> uh, let's see. That was really boring. Matches. You know it. What's in here? I anyway, got the pen. There's a picture. What's in here? Get blum 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 Barbara. Bobby. All right. No, I can't. Apparently, that's weird. That's exact. That's the same thing. This this is the same as that. That is weirding me out. Oh, anyway, let's go. We spent far too much time. Um, the view was inspiring. Jay had picked shit. All right. A uh, beautiful oak desk was standing against a window with an extraordinary inspiring view. Yes, it's true. I think we can put this here. Great. Um, no one's in here. Oh Jesus! It's a typewriter. It's so nice and old. Here we go, close it. Yep, keep it. Wizard it. Disappear. Alright, let's uh, put this in here. I was eager to start doing some work, but the idea of exploring the place was too tempting. Well, damn. Okay, okay, I'm not gonna read that right now. Alright. The music stopped, which is a little disconcerting, but that's okay. I really like that lamp. It's beautiful. Let's see what's going on here. Oh. He's, uh, she seems to be looking at something where she's looking at the severed hand and he's like, boobies! He's, uh, kind of a perv. But, you know, it's her fault for having, well, let's not dwell into that. Ah, <sighs> look at you. Grandmother, how? How art thou? Okay. Um, what's this? The stone in the fireplace is cold to detach. Well, I suppose that's what happens when you don't have a fire. Oh, let's see. A little doctor bag. Hmm. I grabbed the stethoscope, which seemed to be about the only useful thing in the bag. Well, there should be some medicines in here, wouldn't there? Ah. I don't know what that is. It looks like some sort of... muscle thing. I don't know. Oh, look. Look at that. That's gross. Is this a girl? Or a guy. I think it's a guy. I don't know. Alright, well, that was interesting. Okay. Let's go. Uh, mirror. What's this? State Road of Medical Exams? Board. Board. State Board. It appeared as if a doctor used to sleep in this room. Yes, used to. Then he retired and slept to a different room. Alright, um, let's see. The books in the room were rather boring. No horror novels. Unbelievable. They're probably all etiquette books and that sort of thing. What's this? Oh. That's nice. Huh. I really don't have- are those flip-flops? <laughs> I really have nothing to say about that one. <laughs> it doesn't look that interesting to me. Okay, let's go. Let's see if the light switches work up here. Just in case, I tried again, but still, there was no power. Oh, crap. Okay, something you might notice um, about the doors in this game. And I was trying to make this point earlier, but remember when I opened this bedroom door and it actually opened inwards? And when I was leaving just now, it opened inwards. No, it opened outwards, technically. These doors go inwards and outwards. It makes no sense. I don't think doors are actually supposed to, like, since there's... Okay, you might understand what I mean by this. Someone will understand what I mean by this. <sighs> like, I don't think... The way it opens, it shouldn't be able to open the other way. But, whatever. Doggy. Doggy. That dog has a funny face. Alright. Let's see. Ooh, I like it here. What's this? Another dog. Oh, look! 
It's a shabby lady reading a book. She's so cute. I've seen this picture before. I just don't know where. Whatever. I don't know what she's reading. Who's that? I don't... No. No, I don't know. Like a pope or something? I don't know. What was it? Like, nobody expects the Spanish Inquisition. <laughs> I don't think that's that, but whatever. Let's see. I don't remember this one. Wow. Some sort of crazy bar fight going on here. Alright. Let's see. Well, that's nice, I guess. I don't really know about it. Um, I didn't want to go through a bunch of trinkets and perfume. Why not? Do you not have what I like to call freaking curiosity? You're not curious of what perfume this lady that slept in this room that probably died a million years ago is wearing? I like this bed. It's kind of creepy though. The beds seem to be comfortable, but too fancy for me. Oh yeah, I'm not gonna sleep in a bed because it's too fancy. I'm freaking... I have priorities. Alright. This is kind of weird. She's like, Delilah, life is boring. Shut up. Alright, let's see. How about... Silver romantic novels and history books. I decided to stay away from them. I could catch something. A diploma was displayed on the shelf. It appeared that the people who lived in this house were very, very educated. Really? What if they, like, got a diploma from dumb school? Oh, what's this? What's a clock? Can't really see it, but it is a clock. Well, it's a watch, really, but... Um, what's here? Oh, wow. A pregnant lady. Broken picture of a pregnant, pastel pregnant lady. That's nice. That's really okay. Let's do this. It's open here. What is this? Okay, are you gonna look at it or something? You gonna look? I actually know you can look at that later, but no. Oh, well, apparently you can't look at that right now. Oh, uh, hey, these shirts. Those shirts look just like my own. Lazy developers bring some variety to the game for crying out loud. Ha oh, oh, ha, it's an Easter egg. Because we found his shirts and her. Yeah, okay, whatever. Not a very good Easter egg, but he's still an Easter egg. So. Let's go here. Let's see this mirror. So interesting, I could die. Alright, how about we check this one? Look at this. Oh, look, I can grab that. Amazing! There was a safe behind the picture. Well, Jesus, I didn't think that would happen. Mm. I like how the hue of the game changed when I was trying to do that. Okay, you did crash, did you? Did, did you crash? Because I, I hope you didn't. Okay, I didn't know the combination, and safe cracking certainly isn't my expertise. Although, we do have a stethoscope. So you do what they do in the movies, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, I guess not. Let's go to our awkward doors. That room is interesting. There's a lot of pregnant stuff in there, so... I don't know. Maybe the lady that was there was... Prego? I don't know. Um, huh. My favorite guy is right there. <laughs> he's looking up, he's like, I don't even know what's on that table. That dude's just freaking wasted. Everyone's drunk as heck. Alright, another naked lady. Where's with naked ladies? These look like devilish things. I want to be riding on devilish things, especially naked. Alright, oh wow. Wow. I am confused. That guy's got a lampshade on his head. What are these people doing? Are they special? I have no idea. Alright, how about here? Um, wow. These are some really nice pictures. I like them. It looks like the blind leading the blind sort of thing. Yeah, these guys are all blind. And then this dude. I, I guess these are all blind. I don't know. God, it would be so cheerful to live in this house. You have no idea. Let's go in here. This almost looks like a front door. 
Oh, it's a bathroom. It's a beautiful bathroom at that. 